Hi, I'm Alan Foley for Queensbury TV, and I'm here at the Like to Box Gym in Red Hill, Surrey. And joining me, I've got regional middleweight champion Ben Davies. Ben, I'm smiling already now because <laughs> this, just because of the uh, the fight on September the 5th with Brian Richardson. Because I, I've got to say, I've not quite experienced the amount of hype surrounding a fight for a long, long time in the league, and this one, everybody is talking about it. Uh, yourself, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm loving it. Um, I was disheartened. I was just, I was so annoyed about the last anti-climax. Like you said, it was so gutting, but. We got it back on, I think he's excited. Everyone who come to the first one is just as excited for the second one. Um, I don't want it to be the third one, I'm going to settle it on this fight. Just do the business, get, get the win, go on. Mm. So for fans that don't know, you were involved in the fight with Brian Richardson back in June. Yeah. Massive build up, a little bit of animosity, you know, talk on social media, everybody was really hyped for the fight. The fight looked in that first round like it was warming up to be what everybody expected. Yeah. And then a clash of heads, Brian nasty cut over his left eye, the fight was called off and you could see afterwards, although you came out still as the champion, it was a no contest. Yeah. You know, both you and Brian looked absolutely devastated and you know, was it hard to pick yourself up after uh, that? It was disastrous, it was, it was both of us. I, I could tell, I looked at him and he said oh, after look, sorry. But listen, we both had the build up, he was great for the fight, we built, built the fight. Um, it's, no, it's no different now. We, we haven't. We, we still. There's no. We still hate. I don't think we hate each other. We still both want to fight each other. We mm. both want to do the business on the night. Um, that night when it did happen and we did have a no contest, I was gutted. I didn't even feel like having to go home. I was like, I didn't earn it. I trained well hard, really hard, eight weeks of that, um, and done like what was it, a minute and a half. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it weren't good. So this time, training's coming in. Um, started a couple of weeks back. Had a break coming back and I'm going to come back stronger and fit up and I'm ready to just step up again and just go through it mm. and that's what I'm going to do. Do you think this fight has a, a different dynamic in the fact that when you both fought the last time you're both coming into it kind of expecting what each other was going to be like watching previous league fights. Yeah. Now that you spent, although it was only a short period of time in the ring, in your mind is it a different fight coming into this? Are you more confident now that you've sort of tasted his power, been in the ring with him for, as I say, not very long, yeah. But is it in your mind a different fight? I think the adrenaline maybe might have taken a lot of the his power, yeah. He's powerful, I'll give him that. He, he did come across, he's really strong, but it's nothing I'm not gonna be able to deal with. I know he said about in a previous interview, he'd done he spied with big people, I'm big for that weight, I don't care, I'm comfortable this way, I'm doing well this way, I'll keep going through this weight, and then September the 5th, you'll see that I am comfortable this weight, and I will go through him. Simple as, you might think he's powerful, he is powerful, I'm powerful, he's, he's whatever. At the end of the day, everyone can talk about the fight, but it's just me, him and the referee. And that's, I'll be standing there, he'll be standing at one corner, and we'll just meet in the middle, and that's what's going to happen. Mm. And for people coming to watch it, it's going to be, probably, I'd say it's going to be up there, one of the best good fights of the Queensland League. I can remember a good few fights in the Queensland League and I think I want to put this one up there so yeah. hopefully he turns up and we have a good row. Mm. I think the overriding sort of thing already coming across on sort of um, the, the chat on social media is that both of you are so hungry to bring that belt home. It's kind of like, of course the title's important, you being the champion and Brian being the challenger, but the kind of pride element, the sort of wanting to do it for your fans, I mean that's going to be a massive part of this fight. Yeah, it's massive. Is it, I, I think he's had, a, he's had a good... No one heard of him. And then he's, he's sort of starting to fight me and people are starting to talk about him, so that's great for him. I mean, mm. he, he's, getting, he's getting up there. I don't think he's skipped levels, he's, he's sort of earned his way out here. Um, but I don't think he's had the hardest way to get to that level. I think there's more animosity coming, back, coming out of the gym to me, towards me. Mm. So I want to sort of beat, beat him and sort of shut a lot of people up. So we'll see on the day, mm. on the night like And training wise, we saw you earlier on doing um, the strength and conditioning with your coach downstairs. Yeah. Since you've introduced that, for me, watching your sort of previous league appearances and how you've progressed, you know, I know for the last two years you've been undefeated, but the last couple of times you've come into your fights, the Brian Richardson fight, you've, you've looked a lot stronger, a lot leaner, and a lot more powerful. I mean, would that be down, do you think, to the strength and conditioning? Yeah, do you know what? I, I come out of, I think it was Harry Poom's fight, and I was fought in the back, man, I've got to be doing something different, man. I nearly come unstuck that day, that night, and I remember I was, I, that night I went to bed and I was like, got to change something and I got involved and I sort of come down here I've always come up here sparring whatever on Sundays and then mm. I come downstairs and I, was like, oh, and I knew they specialised in that and I just got involved and since then I think 
working with Dan is he's probably put making it a little bit more different, a bit more exciting, and it, yeah, it's helped me more to train more and tell him tell him what sort of stuff I want to do, and he tells me, and I think working with him. I think it's a lot of mental as well. You sort of mentally know you're, you're working hard towards it. Sure. You're not out on the roads running all the time. Where most the old school boxing, we're running every night. I'm doing this, but it's, it's a mm. little bit different now. I think there's a lot more science behind the sport, so it's good. Yeah, because I know a lot more boxers now are sort of taking the kind of strength and conditioning, the nutrition side of things, the training, and mixing it with the traditional side of things. But yeah, yeah. do you feel different as a fighter when you're coming in there now? I feel more confident. I feel more explosive, more powerful, more. F- just the fitness is up there. I was fit before, but I think doing that alongside my boxing training, I think I'm just coming through. I'm, I'm ready. Mm. I'm looking forward to it. And I know that Epsom is sort of a, got some great memories there. I mean, you won the title against Tom oh, Dolan. You know, you've defended the title there as well against Mark Shrub. But when it all boils down to you and Brian standing in that ring facing off, you know, performance-wise, you said you want to be remembered as one of the sort of great fighters in the league. Yeah. What sort of performance are you aiming for? I'm going for a good, classy boxing performance, but I have an explosive finish. Mm-hmm. All right, so the, the touch on the end is going to be boom. So that's going to be good. And you are right, I do remember them nights, and they're good nights with Tom Dolan. I think, was it Jamie Andy I thought there as well? No, mm-hmm. so definitely. But yeah, that's good. Uh, I've had some good memories there, and the atmosphere there is it's a good atmosphere there. I like the atmosphere there, it's good. Yeah, it's going to be like a cauldron. I mean, you know, obviously you've got your fans, Brian fans, both of them want to kind of have a, a definitive answer to this fight, so <laughs> it's going to be something special. No, it's good, I'm looking forward to it. Mm. Well, again, it's happening. The show's called Grudge Match, and it couldn't be more aptly named for this fight. Ben Davies, the regional middleweight champion, fighting Brian Richardson, the challenger, Saturday, September the 5th, at the Epsom Downs Racecourse in Surrey.